Jamaica has opened shelters across the island in preparation for Hurricane Dean. Now, this picture was sent in by Laura McDonald in Kingston. And you can see how they're getting ready and what they're hoping for. They're hoping not for a direct hit, that's for sure. Now, you can send your Dean pictures or any video that you have to weatherwarriors at weather.com. And be careful as you're out there tracking Dean because Dean has already killed three people and devastated crops earlier today as it crossed St. Lucia and also Dominica. Now we think by Thursday there is a good chance that Dean could threaten the United States. Here's a look at the latest information. Now this is the 5 o'clock advisory coming in from the National Hurricane Center. The maximum sustained winds remaining the same as what they were earlier this afternoon, 150 miles an hour. But the forecast now coming in from the Hurricane Center, they do expect intensification by later on tonight, possibly up to a Category 5, 155 plus miles an hour. So we'll keep you posted. That's right. We got you covered here at the Weather Channel. We'll start having live reports tonight with Mike Seidel uh, from Jamaica, as well as Jim Cantori tomorrow. And of course, around Nicole Mitchell flying there with the Hurricane Hunters over the next day or so. That's right. So a lot happening, and you need to stay tuned to the Weather Channel for all the information. As Hurricane D moves through the Caribbean, the Weather Channel brings you the most comprehensive hurricane coverage anywhere. More reports from points of impact. More expert analysis from the most experienced meteorologists. Very quickly, so rainfall accumulates. More resources to get you out of harm's way. From the beginning, through the storm, and beyond, we're there for you throughout hurricane season 2007. The Weather Channel, the Hurricane Authority. You're watching the Weather Channel, the Hurricane Authority. Now, you're local on the 8th. Welcome back. It's Tim before the top of the hour. Tropical update time here on the Weather Channel. And that's the top story today as we continue to update you on Hurricane Dean. Very powerful storm now. Kristen Dodd is over in Hurricane Central. And, you know, Jamaica is preparing for Hurricane Dean, but we've already been seeing some effects in other locations so far. Can you give us an update, right. Kristen? We were already hit hard with this hurricane. We had uh, three people that were killed in the flooding in St. Lucia and Dominica. They had winds of 100 miles an hour. Well, now Dean has strengthened even further and could become a Category 5 in time. We also had reports of a roof being blown off of a children's hospital in St. Lucia. Injuries with that, but fortunately, no deaths. So, you know, it could have been much worse. Back on August 13th, that's when Dean began as a tropical depression, then progressed quickly to hurricane status. Once it moved past the islands, it quickly strengthen from a category two to our category four. That's what we see right now and it still could gain some strength over the next few hours. Now we're looking at the latest advisory here coming in from the National Hurricane Center. This is the five o'clock advisory. Notice here that it is moving closer to Jamaica. So we now are 455 miles east southeast of Kingston, Jamaica. You can also translate that just a bit by saying that we are just to the south of Santa Domingo. Now about 165 miles south of Santo Domingo so moving just a little bit closer that's probably about the closest that we're going to be getting to you but we are seeing the winds now maximum sustained winds at 155 or 150 miles an hour now there's a look at the center of circulation on our visible satellite imagery out here this is about again 165 miles from the center of circulation and you can see the winds fall off drastically now we have had tropical storm force wind gusts these are the sustained winds, so just not maintaining the extreme strong winds that far out. So that is good news for folks here in the Dominican Republic and also in Haiti. But the hurricane force winds, you know, anything up above 74 miles an hour, that is now extending out about 70 miles, so right around that center of circulation. Now we are going to be seeing more rain coming into San Juan and Puerto Rico. We've had some flash flooding being reported up into the mountains and also some gusty conditions there. But the rain is also going to be an issue for Santa Domingo and rapid water rises. This is our infrared imagery getting a little bit closer. Boy, 
ominous looking, isn't it? Now we are seeing the potential for this to continue to strengthen as it heads off to the west in time. There are hurricane advisories in effect coming into the areas. We have hurricane warnings for the potential for hurricane force winds within the next 24 hours as this moves off to the south of Haiti, also into Jamaica. You are now under a hurricane warning as we are projecting the fact that we could be seeing the Dean head closer to you throughout the day tomorrow and possibly even be bearing down on you by tomorrow afternoon and on into the evening. So strong winds heading here. They do have evacuations ongoing right now and shelters set up in Jamaica. And our Mike Seidel will be bringing us live reports from Jamaica later on tonight. You can see how in time we widen our swath here, the cone, and that's with uncertainty. A little bit greater uncertainty in time, but moving in the general direction here of the Gulf of Mexico, possibly by late next week impacting Texas or Mexico. Well, that's a look at what we are seeing as far as Dean. Now, the rest of the tropics looking fairly quiet here. Just one tropical wave moving across the Atlantic. We'll continue to watch it for you. Also watching the remnants of Aaron make their way through Texas. Flood watches now in effect across this area. Now, Ryan, we have a lot of rain falling there. As Hurricane D moves through the Caribbean, the Weather Channel brings you the most comprehensive hurricane coverage anywhere. From the beginning, through the storm, and beyond, for total coverage of Hurricane D, rely on the Weather Channel, the Hurricane Authority. The Weather Channel is brought to you by this cable or satellite provider. You can also get reliable forecasts from the Weather Channel through this radio station or newspaper. You're watching the Weather Channel, the Hurricane Authority. Now, you're local on the 8th. You're watching the Weather Channel, the Hurricane Authority. It's a beauty from above, but a beast down below. Hurricane Dean roars through the Caribbean, the next to feel its fury, Jamaica. While Texans prepare for a second storm strike, could Dean add to the flooding kicked off by Aaron? And the extreme heat is not going away. From the southeast to the southern plains to the southwest. Find out who will feel the triple digits into next week. Hello and welcome to PM Edition on this Saturday. I'm Warren Madden. And I'm Alex Wallace. Thanks for joining us. You know, the tropics are heating up mm -hmm. more and more and more people will be keeping a close eye on Hurricane Dean. Strong Category 4 hurricane now. Winds of 150 miles an hour. Dean has already caused death and destruction in the Eastern Caribbean. And now it is moving inexorably closer to the island of Jamaica. An impact on Mexico could be a few days away. And then possibly the south coast of Texas. Now here's Warren with more on Dean. All right, let's get a look at this thing. Our first hurricane of the 2007 hurricane season.